Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we're going to be talking about some of the exciting stuff coming in Season 22 of Apex Legends, because if you didn't know, it's basically a brand new version of the game, and we're going to go over everything that's changing, how the new Legends will play, and what kind of playstyle changes you'll have to make personally to go ahead and succeed with this new ranked version coming in as well. We're also going to go ahead and give out 45 bucks, all you gotta do is like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill, without further ado... Let's jump into today's topic. So Apex Legends in Season 22 is getting a massive overhaul to the way that we play the game. And the first big one we're going to go over is, yeah, the new Revival game mode that you can see right here that will be coming in trios and also straight shot. Sorry, fans of duos, that does not look like it's still coming back quite yet. Now, what's important about this game mode though is if you have a teammate that's still alive, you will respawn in game, although it will be disabled as you get further into the game and there are less some of the end game ring zones. This is pretty interesting because well, it means that support characters aren't as valuable, at least not as we remember. That being said, this will only be in pubs, not ranks. Speaking of that, there is going to be a brand new map rotation. Of course, we're getting the new district map, which will be a map takeover for two weeks. There will also be Broken Moon and Storm Point. I still wish we got Kings Canyon, but it is what it is. Now, if you aren't a fan of going ahead and getting sweaty, don't worry. There's a new mode called Bot Royale where you play against bot squads and smaller, faster version of the Apex Legends Battle Royale experience. You can go ahead and practice your combat, movement, and weapon skill with any legend, and you can still earn XP to level 10 and complete your welcome challenges to earn sweet rewards. And you can still squad up with your friends to do this to kind of teach them the game. I think this is pretty cool. They've also gone ahead and said that they are going to be revamping skill-based matchmaking for this season. So do be prepared when you drop in for just the regular mode. It is going to be a little bit different. Now, along with that, there's going to be a brand new death box menu AI. This has been wanted for for a very long time. Hemlock is a gold weapon, so do be prepared for that to come in. But overall, it's a lot more neat and less cluttered, and it should be making looting death boxes a lot more easy overall. As you can see there, there was also the dual Mozambique, and well, yeah, you can go ahead and pick these up in loot boxes. There's going to be mythic and gold loot boxes actually in the game. It will be appear on your map, and they do refresh throughout the game. So it's a completely new overhaul on how we get weaponry in the game. There's going to be a lot of other changes, such as the R99 is going to the care package now, and it's getting an increase from 11 to 14 damage in a larger magazine size. So it'll be interesting as we are getting aim assist. It's basically been confirmed here that in PC and crossplay lobbies, all controller players will have 0.3 aim assist instead of 0.4. Aim assist is never going to be removed they said as it is important for console players to bridge the gap between inputs and the dev did quote we know this doesn't solve all the intricacies of aim assist issues but we do hope this levels the playing field so it'll be interesting to see with the buff with the r99 which is typically very good on controller how that works with the care package and the aim assist nerf now there are more weapon buffs and nerfs as well for the akimbo in mozambique any attachment you find is mirrored onto the second gun with akimbo both guns are automatic having an increased fire rate and replace aiming down sights with a tighter hip fire the p2020 is going to be pretty viable the lmg also got a buff. All LMGs now have a front-facing shield similar to Gibraltar's old passive called Gun Shield Generator. The shield can take 40 damage and has a short cooldown to regenerate once destroyed. Shotguns get a damage per pellet increase for Massive and Peacekeeper, but they fire fewer pellets. The Havoc finally got a hip fire nerf, so that is going to be a little bit less viable. The Hemlock has reduced damage from 20 to 19, increased time between bursts, and smaller white and blue mag size, but the gold one probably is still pretty good. Light ammo stacks are increased from 60 to 72, shotgun to 20, and energy to 54, and they removed aim flinch from weapons and abilities but not ring damage flinch this is something that is going to be pretty powerful if you didn't know when you get shot in the game your crosshair typically goes up that's called the flinch that is now completely gone we'll have to go ahead and see how that actually works now there are a ton of legend changes obviously yesterday we talked about how now caustic can differentiate between friendly caustic barrels and enemies the enemies will be red however the friendly ones will be green so you know which ones not to shoot and which ones are safe to go into along with that they finally did it crypto has gotten the off the grid buff which players have memed out for the last couple of seasons and as you can see in the claim play crypto gets cloaked when entering the drone this is one of his perks it looks like maybe not a passive we'll have to get more information as the patch notes get released by the way going back to that weaponry you can see that the gun shield for the lmgs is actually a hop-up that you will have to get and interestingly it powers up gibraltar so he gets a slight buff in this as well not to mention recon class is also getting a buff now they get this thing called threat vision, which you can see right here, where if you are close by, you actually get to go ahead and see the outlines of characters. This helps a little bit with visual clutter, but it'll be interesting to see if players complain about basically wall hacks and other things, as that has been an issue in the past with other certain recon characters, looking at you, Seer. But controller legends also get a nice little perk and update in this new season, where if you are at playing as a control player and you are in the zone, you actually get an extra 25 shield, making you have a little bit more health, which is kind of crazy. If you're out of the zone, the shield actually disappears, but being a controller legend, you really shouldn't find yourself outside of it too much. 
And of course, we have the new map, which we've talked about a little bit. This is a pretty big map, but it has 17 POIs overall and has super grav towers that launch you all over the place. And every building seems to have a zip line inside. Overall, they have completely redone the experience of Apex Legends with the new revival game mode, new bot lobbies, and we'll have to see how the new matchmaking works along with the new ranked rumble mode, which is coming in the near future, new bins, new legend classes, and perks aim assist nerf it is going to be crazy to see how season 22 gets received by the community so let's strap in and get ready to go let me know down below what are your guys' thoughts on the meta changes also the gameplay changes and just everything being overhauled in season 22 of apex legends are you excited or are you kind of upset that they're moving away from the core gameplay values of the game also don't forget to check out this video right here where i cover more news and information on apex legends helldivers 2 and so much more and until next time everyone keep slaying the outlands see you out there